In a press conference on Monday, opposition leader Selo Diallo said that the National Committee for Rally and Development can count on the support of the National Alliance for Change and Democracy in the effort to build a peaceful democracy in their country. He added that this was an opportunity to pay tribute to all Guineans inside and outside the country whose mobilization contributed to the fall of that dictatorship and to honor the memory of those who made the ultimate sacrifice for the advent of September 5th, 2021, the date of the coup. But the West African faces major political uncertainties regardlessly. The military has not revealed a broader plan for governing the country other than an announcement to replace regional governors with military commanders. Some fear that the coup will mark the return of military rule to Guinea, a country that's no stranger to volatility. Mamadou Doumbouya, a former French army officer, cited poverty and corruption as justification for his coup.